Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and I'd like to welcome you here this evening. This is going to be our first um, message and our first time to be before you, to the, and I hope that I can do what I feel like God has asked me to do, what He's been teaching me, and what He's been leading me and guiding me to do for you and for myself also. Before we do anything else, I'd like for us to take a moment and take a and just give ourselves to the Lord and ask Him to lead us and guide us. Heavenly Father, as we come before you this evening, we just ask that you touch me. I want your words to be in my mouth and your thoughts to be my thoughts, Father. As we bring this forth this evening, May it minister to lives and to people around us. May we see changes made, not only in my life, but into all those that it ministers to. In your name, dear Father, we give you praise and glory for all that you're going to do and all that you are doing in your name. Amen. As I've been, been preparing for this, and as I've been researching and studying the Word, the Lord has led me to do a ministry on healing and what Christ taught us and what He teaches us about healing. You know, I was always raised that we come and we say, if it be thy will, Father, you know, to heal this person or to heal this sickness, Lord, you, your will be done, Father. And as I've read the scripture and as I've looked at what Jesus did while he was on this earth, I find that that's not what he told us, nor did he ask us to do. He didn't ask his disciples to do it. He didn't tell us that's the way we're to pray. Nor did he tell us that we are supposed to ask in his name. We're supposed to say in His name, but we're supposed to believe and we're supposed to speak it as if it is done. Because 2,000 years ago when Christ died upon the cross, when He bore those stripes for our sickness, the Scripture says that it was done. Not that it could possibly be done. Not that if it was His will, it would be done. But that it was done. And as I've done my research and as I've looked through the Word and as I hope to bring it forth before you, not just tonight, but as in, in weeks to come, that you find that what I'm teaching you and what I'm showing you is scripturally based. Because I don't want to be misleading anybody. I didn't want to be misled when I prayed and asked the Father to show me. And I know He showed me in His Word. He said, greater works than I have done, ye shall do. And I know that He has given that promise to us. You know, in James chapter 1, verse 5, it says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally. And Upbrideth not, and it shall be given him. And let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of a sea, driven with the wind and tossed. And that scripture is telling us we can't, we can't waver, we can't be tossed to and fro, we can't wake up one morning and say, well, the Lord said it's so and I'm going to believe it and I'm going to stand on it and wake up the next morning and say, well, I don't know if it was God's will or not. 
because the scripture says that 2,000 years ago, our healing was performed because of the stripes that he bore. 2,000 years ago, it was done. It was finished. And if we have the faith and we don't waver, then it is done. Jesus tells us that we should be strong. We should be courageous. We should be bold. He tells us in the Word to come boldly before the throne of God. And if we do that, that doesn't mean come and say, well, if it be thy will, Lord, then heal me. If it be thy will, Lord, then you move that mountain. If it be thy will, Lord, then you part the seas. Moses didn't ask, if it be thy will, Lord. If it be thy will, God. God said, stretch forth the rod. He stretched forth the rod and the sea was parted. When Noah, when God told Noah to build the ark, Noah just went out and did it, even though there wasn't ever a sign of a flood or rain or anything before that. He just did it. Jesus tells us that we should stand on the Word of God. And the Word of God says, His stripes, we are healed. And if we have faith and we don't waver, then there is nothing that is impossible. We might wake up one morning and might not feel like we've been healed. But that don't mean it wasn't so. That don't mean it isn't so. You know, I have found through the years that as long as I do what the Bible tells me to do when it comes to giving to God what is His, He is always faithful and just to give me what is mine. He is always faithful and just to meet my need. And no, I'm not saying there's not been times when I have wondered, is it going to happen or is it going to make it? But it's always came through at the last minute or at the right time. It's always been able to come through. And I know that God wants us to become the people that He's asked us to be, that He's told us to be, that we have the faith to believe. You know, each of us have the faith as in the grain of a mustard seed. That's not a lot of faith. That's not a lot that we can't ask. That's not a lot that God didn't ask of us. When he said, just the grain of a mustard seed, that's all the faith you need. Why don't we have that? We do have that. It's just that little bit of faith. And everybody has that much faith. So why can't we believe? Why do we waver? Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil comes to try to discourage us. He, he brings us discouragement. He brings us uh, turmoil. He brings us the uh, lack of. He always just tells us it's not possible. He tells us we don't have that much faith. God says, be strong. Jesus says, be strong. Jesus tells us to be bold and to stand up against the devil and to, uh, to tell him, you can't win. 
the more we tell the devil he can't win, the more he has to go. And the more we do it, the greater our faith becomes. And that means nothing is impossible with God. That means nothing is impossible for us if we believe what the Word says. There's no healing that is impossible. There's nothing miraculous that God can't do if we just stand firm. The Bible talks about us building our church on a firm foundation, planting our, our foundation on the solid rock, which is Christ Jesus. And I know that Christ died and his stripes were bore for your healing, for my healing, and that if I can just stand and if you can just stand on that word and not waver, then the devil can't take it away from you and he can't take it away from me. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. For He is our Savior.
And if he's not your savior, he can be. And once he is, then nothing is impossible. All it means is that you ask. Say, Father, here am I, a sinner. Forgive me. My name is Tony England. I'm nobody except for a child of God called by Jesus to bring forth a message that says that healing is ours today. All we have to do is believe. Father, we come to you today. And Father, for those that are hearing this today, I speak healing. In the name of Jesus, whatever sickness, if it be cancer, if it be mental, if it be physical, if it be financial, whatever it is that they need today, Father, I bind any hindrance that might come against that in the name of Jesus. And I speak healing in the name of Jesus. I speak healing. If you have need, if you have a physical ailment today, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Give it to Jesus today. Tell Him what it is. Give it to Him today. Declare His Word in the name of Jesus. By Jesus' stripes, Satan, do you hear me? By Jesus' stripes, we are made whole. And I claim that in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you. And um, we will slowly get this together. I don't, I haven't even come up with a name of what this is to be yet. And if you can think of something, if you want to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me through my email address. And that is England, just my last name, E-N-G-L-A-N-D. Tony, T-O-N-Y, the number five at gmail.com. Or you can text me at 317-775-9884. If you have a prayer request, that's a good way to get a hold of me either way there. And I promise you I will pray for you. Know that God can perform the miracle that you need today. Reach out and claim it. Stand on it. Do not back down because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, go in faith. Amen.